All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Prophet John here. Okay, so man, <laughs> we this is this is the world we have to deal with, and I keep telling you people that um, it's going to continue. It's going to continue because you're using a word that brings on this type of behavior. Uh, that that you're you're using this word. And I know you people don't like it. I know you don't like it, but you're using this word black. And that and the word black is going to bring all of this stuff. Um, <laughs> it happened to the Caucasian people. The people of caucus were called this word, and it brought a whole bunch of trouble their way. They were going through the same things you're going through in the Soviet Union. But because you don't care about your history and you don't care about listening to history, you continue with the word and you continue to be surprised of what you see when you represent that word. So there was a, uh, so NASCAR is investigating and will reportedly work with law enforcement after a noose was found in the garage of Bubba Wallace. He released the statement on this on the situation saying that this will not break me. I will not give in, nor will I back down. Good for him. And he shouldn't. It's just a, it's all it is is intimidation. But at the same time, you got to know where that's coming from. If you don't know, see that the problem with the African-American and the ADOC people is that they don't know why they're why this is happening to them. And when you try to tell them, they don't want to accept that. And so they can, so it continues to happen to them because they don't want to accept why this is happening to them. It all circles around one word, and it's called black. But you see, when OJ, when OJ said, I'm not black, I'm OJ, we all laughed at him because we didn't know what that meant. We know what that means now. Right, because you can see what's going on when you call yourself that word. When you call yourself black, you take on every negative thing that has been associated with that word throughout the throughout history. Right, and so when OJ said, "I'm not black, I'm OJ," basically, I'm what my mother called me what my mother named me. I'm not what you call me, right? We didn't we didn't understand that back then. We thought OJ was, oh, I'm going to disassociate myself with the uh, African-American ADO people. No, OJ was saying, I'm not what you people call me. I'm not what you, uh, your slave owners call me. I'm not what America calls me. I'm what, what, I'm what my mother calls me. I'm OJ. I'm not what you call me, right? So we know now, <laughs> back then we were laughing at him. You know, we, we know now, we know why OJ said that. You know, we know why Kanye West says that, you know, slavery was a choice. We, 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 we're seeing these things now. We, we, we understand now, right? We were understanding now because this is not going to stop. <laughs> this is this is just it's not going to stop because we we really at the at the end of the day do do, do African Americans and ADO people want this to stop? Because if they did, they wouldn't they wouldn't they do their history on the word black? Wouldn't wouldn't they go and do their history? Wouldn't they be in the courtrooms fighting with lawyers to get these political things changed, laws changed, you know? Wouldn't, wouldn't they actually want to do the serious work if they really wanted this stuff to change? Wouldn't they tell the Zionist media to stop portraying us like, like, um, like, uh, you know, the way that they're portraying us? Wouldn't that happen? Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't the actors boycott Hollywood and, and boycott the, uh, um, you know, the Zionist uh, Hollywood and, 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 and do start their own um, Hollywood, start their own uh, movie theater so they can portray themselves in a better image? 
if we really, really want to change, wouldn't that be the, wouldn't we see those things by now? But, but yet, we're out there, we're out there marching and protesting and say our lives matter. And then we're going into the studio talking about, you know, bees and hoes and, and tricks and I got more money than you and I'll, I'll, I'll beat you down, I'll gun you down. <laughs> Yeah, we 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 don't really, we we really don't want we really don't want change because change comes with actions, not not the actions of burning your streets and and rioting. That's not real action. They did that in ninety one, ninety two with the L A riots. Nothing changed. You're still in the same position as you were back then. That doesn't do anything. That's not fighting power with power, and so the and so. The reason why these things continue to happen is because th these people don't respect you. They don't respect you. They, they don't respect you because you don't know your history. And until you wake up and know your history, they're going to continue to disrespect you. They're going to continue to put mooses in your locker room. They're going to continue to degrade you, clown you. They're going to continue to do it because you don't know your history. And you know many of these many of the uh, people of caucus. This is exactly what they were going through in the Soviet Union, and now they're doing it to you because you don't know your history, right? Laws need to be changed. It's a systematic thing. It's a systematic thing. The police. They that the what what the police are operated to do must change, right? Systematically. Paperwork wise, right? Donald Trump did a uh, a political a police reform, but what did we get to see what was inside of it? <laughs> right? Did, did did it did it change the wording of how police are supposed to operate? I don't believe it did. Uh, we didn't see anything. Right? Because the police were created to protect white people away from African Americans and and ADOS people, did that did that core change? Did they change that that so that police are here to protect all people? I don't believe that that changed. So because that didn't change, in my opinion, I don't believe that changed. We I didn't see it. I didn't see anything. Have you guys seen anything on on the or on the on 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 the on the writings of why of what police duties are and what police are supposed to do? Has that changed? I don't believe that's changed. Just doing some police reform is not gonna. It's a it's a it's a step, but it's not gonna do anything for us, for 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 the African American ADOS people. Police are still gonna do whatever they want. <laughs> in my opinion okay and this is going to continue in my opinion because you can tell african americans and ADUS people to go do your history go go research the word black go research your history why they're doing this to you go research who you really are okay the tribe of judah the real chosen people okay go do your history and who you are and why and, and why this is happening to you we're going where the, the rise of the Antichrist system is upon us. The New World Order Antichrist system is rising. This is why they're attacking you. <laughs> you don't know who you are. You don't know who you are. When you don't know who you are, that's when people attack you. Right? It's like America. People are waiting for America to be divided, which we are right now. People are waiting for America to be weak so they can attack it, right? People are waiting for America to be divided and weak so then they can attack America and remove the dominance of America. That's how war is. That's how people win wars, right? When you, you attack somebody when they're down. So African-Americans are at the bottom. ADOS people are at the bottom. They don't know who they are. They don't know that they're really kings and queens and they've been on this planet for thousands and thousands and thousands of years before Caucasians were on this planet or any other race were on this planet. They don't know that they're, they're the real chosen people and the jewels of the world. 
This is why everybody follows every trend you do. You go on social media and everybody's doing every trend you do. It's all over social media. Every race of people are doing your trend, singing your music all over the entire world. It didn't matter where I went. It didn't matter what country I visited. <laughs> people want to be or act like African Americans. ADOS people. There's something about you that either makes people love you to death or makes people hate you to death. There's really not too many people that are in between, is there? Yeah, they're okay, yeah. No, nah. it's either people are obsessed with you, with your fashion, your trends, your dance moves, your entertainment, your sports, whatever, or they hate your guts because you have because you're so gifted and have the genes and the melanated skin that they want so bad. And so this is this is you don't the problem is, is that we don't you I know who I am, but you a lot of you people don't know who you are. And when you don't know who you are, this is gonna continue. You know why African Americans and other race don't come after uh, Caucasians? Because Caucasians know who they are, and they'll stand up with it. And they'll tell you exactly, "I'm a racist," "I'm," or, or "or I'm this," or "I'm that," or "I'm this," or "I'm that." Right? They'll tell you exactly who they are. Now, the only problem with Caucasians is Caucasians have a history that they will not release. I've told you a little bit about it. And I know some of them got angry at me, and that's fine. I got a bunch I got a bunch of Caucasian friends and they don't mind at all. So it, my elite Caucasian friends and my uh my personal team Caucasian friends, they don't care because I'm telling the truth. See, if I'm lying, that's a different story. But when I'm telling the truth about where they come from and how did they and the six thousand years of planet Earth and that 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 bull crap that they that that the scientists put out there and all that stuff, if I'm telling if I'm falsely saying that stuff, then they'll they'll say, "Hey, man, you don't you know, why are you lying on there?" You know. There's a lot of history that Caucasians will not tell us, right? They're, 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 there's a lot of missing history about the Caucasians. They won't tell us about, that. They, they never want to talk about the uh, the uh, Dark Ages, right? They don't want to talk about the caves uh, in Europe and the Dark Ages and how the Moors came, helped them be, be able to uh, learn proper hygiene and things like that. Remember, they were dealing with a lot of uh, uh, fleas and, and 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 things in their hair, lice in their hair, and and all that because they they didn't know how to do proper hygiene when they kind of came to the planet. And the Moors were the ones who taught them. If you guys know anything about the Moors, they were the ones in in Europe that taught them how to properly hygiene and things like. Oh, Caucasians know all about that. They won't speak on it though. They, there's a lot of history that you people don't do not know about the Caucasians at all. A lot of you guys didn't even know that the Caucasian, that the, the people of Caucasus were called blacks. You didn't even know that. They won't tell you these things because they there's something called staying on code that African Americans and ADO people, ADO people do not know nothing about. <laughs> okay. And so there's there's things called staying on code. They won't tell you the, you know, where they come from. They're not going to tell you uh, that they were in caves. They were not going to tell you about the the dark ages. They're not going to tell you that they were. Uh, many of their people were called blacks. They're not going to tell you none of this stuff, man, <laughs> because they stay on code. I can respect that. I can respect people, a uh, group of people that stay on code. You know, but at the same time. You guys and girls, the ADOS African American people, you gotta understand. You gotta, you gotta do your history on who you are. You gotta do your history on who you are because this, this stuff is gonna continue because you refuse to know who you are, right? When you know who you are and you actually stand up for yourself and know who you are, it's gonna stop. It will immediately stop, right? But because we don't, because we're so divided on who we are, right? As a group of people. That they take advantage of that. Is that same? Is that plain and simple? If you know who you are, and you stand firm on that, just like the Asians do. The Asians know who they are, and they stand firm on it. And you and you're not gonna do anything to them. 
You're not going to infiltrate or anything like that. They will, they will destroy you, right? That's because they know who they are. That's why they're. That's why Caucasians don't mess with them, right? So if if ADOS African Americans know who they are, stand united, make sure the laws are changed for fairness and equality, right? Then everything's then then that stuff stops. It stops because now they respect you. They they say, oh now wow. You guys know who you are. All right, cool. Checkmate. You know what I mean? Like, well, all right, cool. You guys go do your thing. But because you're vulnerable, that's when they attack you. Because you're vulnerable. So because we don't know we don't know who we are. We don't know where we come from. We don't know. A lot of us are 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 are, are gang banging and, and we hate each other. We hate our own people, right? A lot of us hate each other. Oh man, you're from this block. Oh, I'm from this block, so I can't mess with you, right? Instead of uniting with each other and saying it doesn't matter what block we're from, what the f <laughs> that doesn't matter. Like, who cares? We're, we're gonna let's unite and let's build our let's let's build together. That's what they want to see. When you start doing that, that's when people are gonna be like, we can't mess with them anymore. They're united. It's the same thing with America. All these countries that want to uh, come in and destroy America. If they see America unite as one instead of this Republican, Democratic, Independent bullcrap and keep fighting, they, they're not going to they're going to back off. They're not going to mess with us anymore. It's the same thing. African-Americans, ADUS people, you must unite and under and tell the world who you are and stick to that. Right. And say and, and then demand changes through laws, documents, regulations, right, and reforms, and you'll see things change. You'll see things change. But until then, it's going to stay the same. It's going to continue. Matter of fact, it's going to get worse because it's going to get worse because you're out there protesting on behalf of George Soros. <laughs> Right, who who funds Antifa and and who who's basically the creator of Antifa and, and Black Black Lives Matter? So you're you're out there protesting and doing all this on behalf of George Soros. So that's not going to end well for for African Americans, okay? Um, and don't think uh, you know they they want a race war, right? So if they want a race war. Guess who's going to be the people that actually get killed the most? in the race war because a group of people have guns and a group of people don't have guns you who you think is going to win <laughs> okay so you, you they're basically they're basically allowing you to entertain the world and then if some type of race war does happen um they have they have manipulated you they have used you and then they will abuse you because you don't have any guns because Many African Americans are and, and ADUS people are liberals, and they have turned in their guns. Uh oh, that's not going to help you in a race war, is it? <laughs> okay, so Caucasians they ain't turning in their guns. Matter of fact, they're buying more guns. So good luck with the race war, right? <laughs> We know who's going to lose that race war because one group of people have a lot of guns and other people have no guns because they were lied to by liberals and say, turn in your guns. And uh, and that was a deception, by the way, because they want all they want. They, they want to re, they want to remove you. As you see, Joe Biden made an announcement the other day saying that if he be, if he's president on day one, he's going to bring in 11 million illegal immigrants and make them citizens immediately. Why is Joe Biden saying that? You know why Joe Biden said that? It's because he realizes that the African-American ADO people aren't buying his bull crap any longer. And so he needs to replace you. Uh-oh. Do you have guns? <laughs> no, you don't. You, you, you were told to turn in your guns. You were told that guns are bad. <laughs> and you believe that crap. You believe that crap. While you while they were telling you to turn in your guns, Caucasians were going and, and Asians and other races of people were going out there buying guns. <laughs> oh, they they're turning in their guns. Oh, they're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> 
they're gonna be in trouble. What if what if what if they flood in forty million illegals, and and and, and the world and America's on fire, and chaos is everywhere. You don't have nothing to protect yourself. Mm mm mm. That's what they do to us because we we're not united. If we were united, we would never have turned in our guns. Never. You will never have turned in your guns if you were united. But because you're separated and they know that, they can manipulate you. They could have you turn in your guns, have no protection for your community and your family. Unbelievable what they have done to you. But that's because you do not know your history and you don't want to be united. And so that's what we get for not wanting to be united, not wanting to know our history, not wanting to know who we are. And so they're going to continue to put mooses in your locker rooms. They're going to continue to disrespect you until you finally say enough is enough. It's the same thing happening in Iraq where the people are being disrespected or poverty. They're, they're being salaries are being reduced or being cut in half. They're not even receiving salaries. And they continue to disrespect the people until one day the people are going to step up and say, we're done. We're done. We're here to topple your government if you don't give us everything that you have. Right. And that's what African-American Day U.S. people are going to have to do as well. At some point, you're going to have to wake up and say, okay, we are not, something is, something is wrong. Something is wrong. We need to know who we really are. Let's start digging. Let's start looking at our past. Let's start digging about who we really are. Why do they call us blacks? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? And, and then go from there, united in a stance of who we are. And then start changing the laws and the system and demanding the system to change through laws and regulations. That's where the power moves are. And when you fight power with power, what happens? You start receiving respect. You're no longer this bottom of the barrel uh, piece of people that they see and that they, they, they can disrespect. You start fighting power with power when you're united. And that's all it's going to take. Okay? So, I love my people. I've been trying to tell my people for a long time that this is what's going to, this is what it takes. This is what's going to take. But, you know, right now we're divided. You can say, oh, no, we're not divided. We're, we were out there marching. That's not, that's not fighting power with power. That's stupidity. That's, that, that's entertainment. That doesn't get nothing done. That doesn't tell you about who your history, what your history is, why they call you black, why why are they doing this to you, why are they doing that to you. That doesn't change anything. Donald Trump did a police reform that you didn't even know. We, we don't even know what's in the police reform. Is that police reform going to stop cops from doing what they're doing? No, it's not. <laughs> right? So we need real changes, real laws, real regulation. But if, well, the first thing we need is to be united on who we really are. Because I can go to African Americans and 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 ADOS people right now and tell them that they are the the real chosen people of Yeshua, and they will laugh at me because they don't know who they are. That's a problem. It's a problem not knowing who you are. It's a problem to be able to stand underneath that sun for twenty four hours with no problem because you're melanated. That's a gift from God. It's a problem to be able to jump the highest, run the highest, sing, dance better than anybody in the planet, entertain, be able to tr do trends, be able to be trending every single day in this entire planet and not who know who you are and not know why that's happening, not know why people follow you and everything that you do, not know why people copy you for everything that you do, not know that you created rock and roll, not know that you created rock music, not knowing that you created country music, not knowing that you created R&B rap music, not knowing that you're the ones that created the, oh, literally everything that you see in this planet Earth has been created by African Americans and then recopied or, or stolen for 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 you know for other people to say I did it first. Not knowing these things is a problem. And so because they know you don't know these things, they can, they just disrespect you. <laughs> and then this is this is what happens. And when I say these things, you know, even the African Americans get mad at me because they don't know who they are and.
and uh, it, it it bothers them. Well, no, you know, learning your history and who you are. You know, when I said African Americans discovered rock and roll, people were like, what do you, you know, people, African Americans got angry. <laughs> Unbelievable. You've been pro, you, you, you've been brainwashed and programmed so badly that even with facts right in front of your face, you won't even believe it because you don't, you don't, you think you're the bottom of the barrel, man. And so they treat you that way, don't they? Your own, your own mindset is that you're the bottom of the barrel. And so when they look at you, that's what they see. Man, oh, he thinks he's the bottom of the barrel. Well, we're going to treat you that way. We're going to stop on you. And treat you as the bottom of the barrel then. If you come in looking like kings and queens and demanding respect, guess what? You'll be treated that way. You'll be treated that way, won't you? Anyways, we'll stop it here. And uh, so NASCAR is going to uh, investigate. And that's what they always say. And, you know, nothing's going to be found. And well, they're just going to investigate. And they're going to keep it moving. NASCAR doesn't care. <laughs> And NASCAR, NASCAR has been racist for a long time. Everybody knows that. Even Dale Arnhardt Jr., when he, he's going, I think, into the Hall of Fame this year, isn't he, for the NASCAR? Even he was talking about how racist NASCAR is. <laughs> Anyways, peace out. God bless. Eyes open. And uh, learn who you are. Because then when that happens, you'll, be, you, you'll, start, you'll start receiving respect. And things will start changing. Laws will start changing because they 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 know uh oh they know who they are now and they're united and you're not gonna play that game no more and you're gonna fight power with power you're not gonna fight power with entertainment okay you're not gonna fight power with with, with sports entertainment or or marching that doesn't do anything okay so you're not gonna fight power with with breaking into small businesses and ruining people's lives that work so hard for their business, you're not gonna do that. You're gonna fight power with power through documents, through regulations and policies, and your history and being united as one. Peace out, God bless, eyes open, see you guys later.